Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nika coming to you with another video. In this video, y'all, we are on day eight, but we're starting a new topic, which is growing in God. We are on week two, y'all. I can't believe it already, but we are. So if you would like to see this video, stay tuned. First, if you'd like to be a part of my creative team, click on that red subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you will not miss any of my uploads. Comment below because I'd love to hear from you and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Y'all, let's get into it. Okay, friends, so now we are in week two, and I'm excited about this because we're learning about growing in God. So I want to go ahead and show you my Be Still journal. This may be your first time joining me. So I do have the first week, which is confidence in God, and I'm getting ready to do a review of that. And then we're going to jump into um, day eight for Colossians 2, 6 through 7. So I set up all of this on camera and I do have a series. It's under June 2022 um, and it's for the scripture reading and writing plans. I probably need to change that name, but right now that's what I have it under. And so we begin week one with building confidence in God. We wrote down what confidence means, the feeling of belief that one can rely on someone or something, firm trust. And the first day, and I'm only going to go over the reflection, um, I will have all of the scriptures written down in the description so you can also um, take advantage of that. And I also put them on my IG page, Anika's Creative Plans, and I also put them in my private Facebook group under my business, Anika's Creative Closet. So, and I also have a Facebook page that you can also um, find them there, and that's not a private page for Anika's Creative Plans. So, um, the one thing that on the first day, my reflection was no weapon formed against me shall prosper and every tongue that rises against me in judgment shall be condemned. And I have to say that every day. And there's another scripture that I say every day, God created me a clean heart and renew the right spirit in me. My mom always shared that with us and told us to always say that. And so those are the two things I basically kind of say. Um, the second day, our reflection, um, I'm accepting help from God. Even in weakness, I am made strong through Christ who strengthened me. June 3rd, which was Hebrews 10, 35 through 36, which is an awesome scripture. I will receive the promise that God is for my life. I would not cast away my confidence because sometimes we give our confidence away. But because we have that confidence in God, we know that we can do all things through him who strengthened us. Uh, so the fourth day, God, I still have a long way to go in which I do, um, by building confidence in him. However, I'm making strive to know you more each day. I'm not perfect, but you see the good in me. Basically, God see us as perfect, but of course we are not. Um, I'm building my faith in you. I'm trusting you and the promises you have for me. You will never leave me nor forsake me. Thank you for being my shield. And then I just wanted to add the ERV version, the easy to read version, as well as the amplified in here. And so um, the fifth day, my reflection was actually like a prayer. God, my prayer to you is that I walk in faith in my business. I am an example to my children. I continue to pray over my marriage. I pray for peace. I pray for confidence that I'm doing what you have called me to do. Nothing I can do without you, God. You are my, you have my back. You are my shield. June 6th, which was Monday, 2 Corinthians 12, 9. God, I am made strong through the weakness because of the power you have given me. Every day I would draw near to you. I have favor because I am your child. Yesterday was Tuesday. Um, 
So my reflection that I'm sharing with you for the first time, because I do not um, reveal my reflection until the next day. So when I write down everything for the eighth, my reflection will be for um, day nine. Reflection. Thank you, God, for allowing me to be your vessel to talk about the word of God. I'm humbled by the experience. God, I know this is not me alone, but the confidence that I have in you. You are leading and guiding me every step of the way. You are going to open up doors for me. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. You are there holding my hand. You are my footprint in the sand. As we go into growing in God, I want to share these scriptures with you. And I also have my sticker because I like to decorate this part first before I get into day eight. So this is always going to be like going into the next week is always going to be a longer video. So I'm going to go ahead and talk while I do this growing in God. So we can see it in, on this one as well. So um, I want to add this to the middle of the page. And y'all, you can do this um, teaching anytime. You don't have to do it the way that I'm doing it. You don't have to start on the same week I'm starting on. Um, if you want to turn it around and do, you know, week four and week one, it's up to you because this is your life. And I'm going to add, because I love adding stickers to my... Um, page. This is Simone. And so day eight, we are reading on um, Colossians 2, 6 or 7. Then we're going to go into 2 Peter um, 3, 18. And then Romans 8, 38 through 39. Then Isaiah um, 4031 we have mark 11 22 through 24 in hebrews 6 1 through 2 in colossians we're back in colossians we start with colossians we end with colossians um 1 verse 9 and 10 so um, we will talk about the scripture that we're going to read for today. And then growing in God, the biggest thing that is three things that, um, I want to do for this month and I'm going to write them down here. One, two, three. I want to pray daily. Um, I also want to, of course, I'm reading daily, but these are the things that's going to help us grow in God. Um, I'm going to name these three things that will help us grow. In God. Read daily, pray daily, and trust God. And let Him direct you and empower your daily life. So that's all. Those are the three things that will help us grow in God. Pray daily, read daily, and trust God and let him direct you and empower your daily life. Okay? So here, we're going to go ahead and read um, Colossians. So we are in day eight. 
I have these stickers in my shop. So my website is Anika's Creative Closet. So I do have the sticker. And I call it the washi date strip. I don't know if that's a little crooked, but so I'm going to add day eight is Colossians. Two, six through seven. So I'm going to use my iPad today because I already have that pulled up. And I wanted to do that because um, just to have it already. So our scripture for today is Colossians 2, 7. And so I have it on my iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and read that. Um, to you and so I was trying to see if I can make it bigger yes therefore as you have received Christ Jesus the Lord walk in union with him reflecting his character in the things you do and say living lives that lead others away from sin seven having been deeply rooted in him and now being continually built up in him and becoming increasingly more established in your faith, just as you were taught, and overflowing in it with gratitude, being thankful for what you have. And so I'm going to go ahead and write um, the scripture down, and I will play some music for you as I'm writing this. And on the end of it, I will come back on and talk a little bit more. Okay, friends, so growing in God is basically increasing your knowledge in what the Bible is saying. Growing in God, remember those three things that I told you earlier. Pray daily, read daily, trust God, and let him direct your path. Let him empower your life daily. Letting go of trying to be perfect. Also confess your sins every day to God. Remember this scripture as well. John 17, 3. Now this eternal life that they may know you. Know God. The only true God. And Jesus Christ who have sent you. So knowing God, growing in God, results in trusting Him. Trusting that He is living in you and through you. So remember this. You want to lead others away from sin. Get deeply rooted in the things of God. Continue building yourself up and having confidence in God and trusting him. Y'all, as we spend the next seven days learning about growing in God, you're going to see a big transformation. I've seen it in... Week one. 
So I want to thank y'all for joining me. If this is your first time, please hit that subscribe button. But tomorrow we're going to go into day nine. We are growing in God. We're going to be better than we were last week when we were learning about building confidence in God. But now we begin to grow. This is teaching all of us something. No, I'm going to share this with you. I am not perfect. I'm just a vessel. I am not a minister. I'm just a vessel that is learning along with you. Believe me, I'm learning just as much as you're learning. Read daily. Pray daily. Let God direct you daily. Let him empower your life daily. And we're going to be better individuals for it. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all. And I will see you tomorrow on day nine. Bye.